Hello, welcome back to Fred in the Shed, but I'm not in the shed today, we're not playing radios. No, in this video we're going to build a steam engine, a working live steam engine. If you're a kind of hands-on guy or lady and, and you like to build things from kits, well you're going to love these Walesco kits. Absolutely fantastic, a real blast from the past. If you're not into building kits, and um, basically you just want the finished engine and you can generally buy these all completely constructed for you and uh, you can run them straight away. For me it is all about sort of getting my hands slightly dirty if you like, nut and bolt work building the kit. So this is the kit that we're going to build, it shouldn't be too, too bad, this is the engine part of it. It's only a quite a small boiler on this D11. Um, not probably not all that powerful but it only needs to sort of run the working model. One, one thing I like about Walesco kits is that the boiler has a really nice sight glass, a real sort of round clear sight glass so you can see the level of the water, you can also see it boiling as well. Quite like that about the uh, Walesco kits. So what's going to happen is this is a Fred in the Shed 1 video so I'm going to sort of do the whole thing, I'll speed it all up, I'll just show you a little bit of the construction, speed it up and then mostly we'll, we will sort of focus on the working kit at the end and that's probably what you want to see. If you're interested in how these things are built and any problems that I might encounter, and I normally do when I build these kits, I will do a series, maybe a couple of videos, longer videos on my sister channel, Fred in the Shed 2, and they'll take you through it in a lot more detail, perhaps if you're thinking of building one of these yourself and you want to sort of see what's involved. And I will leave links to those videos at the end of this video but as I say in this video we're gonna go going straight ahead we're gonna be building this kit So this is the model complete and uh, just power steaming it up here for the first time. Just building up a little bit of pressure there. It's quite a nice cold day for it. And uh, the valve's a little bit sensitive but uh, here we go, let's get it going. It's fantastic, it's, it's just running out of steam now. I'm gonna to have to turn it off in a second because the boiler's getting low. 
<coughs> but absolutely amazed up. It's fantastic, isn't it? A lovely working model. Absolutely made up. It's just running out of puff now. Oh, isn't it wonderful? And it smells fantastic. That smell of that steam, that steam oil, and that hot steam and the oil. Oh, it just takes you right back. So I think all it needs to do now is we need just to evacuate all of the steam from the boiler there. I'm going to do that with the whistle, give that a test. That's the final thing, but I'm absolutely made up about this model. Um, I think it's really good, quite good value, and I'm really, really pleased that I took the time to paint the actual pumping part of it. I think now I've seen it working, it looks much, much better. Okay, just going to do the whistle now, the final part. So cheers, thanks for tuning in to Freddy in the Shed. Really, really appreciate your view time. Okay, stay tuned because I'm not going to stop. I've got the bug for this. I'm going to be building more steam models. But as for now, thank you for watching.